It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 29th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This could resonate at any time, so we're just going to see what comes up. Could be the next 24 hours, could be the next 48, could be the next week. We'll see. What do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message today? Six of Cups reversed. Temperance reversed. Somebody's frustrated. They're very frustrated. They're having a hard time. Somebody's having a hard time mastering their emotions. Very, very emotional. A lot of memories here. Uh, there could be some selective memory as well. Um, somebody could be overdoing it, self-medicating, going overboard, clinging to the memories, clinging to the past. Three of Swords. Oh my God. So this is painful. Somebody is suffering. They are in some sort of pain, thinking about their past, unable to release, unable to accept, unable to accept something. Hard to accept. Somebody is hard to accept. Hard to accept an ending because this comes after the death card. So somebody is, is having a hard time accepting something. It hurts. It hurts really, really, really bad with the Three of Swords. Somebody maybe, it's like their head is pounding as well. Maybe having a pounding headache. Um, thinking about it a lot as well. A lot, 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 lot. Somebody's thinking about their past a lot. Um, I'm not sure if somebody's going to end up in the hospital. Somebody could end up in the hospital. They could end up uh, needing to go to the hospital. Just saying. I feel like we have an, we have an angel around as well. Um, so just be aware. I feel like there's an angel around. Um, hmm. maybe there's a couple angels around. Anyhow, um, now the six of cups reversed can be freedom from obligation. Somebody may be freed from some sort of obligation, but this is hard to accept the temperance card uh, that's not going with the flow not willing to compromise so there's definitely something going on here there's some sort of conflict or maybe even a hostility somebody may be clumsy as well they could be emotionally unstable they're they're somebody is very you know they're definitely struggling they're struggling to blend they're not in a peace they're not in harmony at all Definitely not. Lack of harmony, lack of peace, needing to get, somebody needs to get back on track, but they're suffering. There's some sort of pain here. Could be heart pain as well. It could be. Um, but there is some sort of pain. Um, I don't know if there's some, I don't know, I was going to say leakage. Hopefully there's not. Anyhow, um, something about water. Um, six of Cups reversed. I don't know if someone's going to be packing their bags. That could be packing their bags as well. Um, somebody's definitely going overboard. They're engaging in negative patterns. Something is off. Something does not feel right with the Temperance card reversed. This is not healthy. And this is like a hospital. Somebody's not healthy at all. They're not healthy. Five of Pentacles reversed. Eight of Swords. Whew. So this is mental turmoil. Somebody is, is, is trapped. They need to move on, but they are in some sort of denial. They're they're not seeing something clearly. They're not 
uh, acknowledging. They're not acknowledging something. We have somebody here that is fearful. They're fearful or they just can't see. They're, they're doing something that is causing trouble because we got six swords up, two swords down. So six of swords is definitely needing to move on. Somebody needs to go. They need to go. but they're So somebody needs to go. They need maybe they need to go to the hospital. I mean, I don't know if that's the case, but it looks like we have. A, and, I mean, and I say the hospital because if you take a look, I mean, it looks like we got somebody in the hospital. Okay, um, so I'm not sure if somebody needs to go. Six of, six of swords is needing to go. You know, um, but this two of swords is in denial or unable to see. You know, and somebody has a blindfold on. And it's like they're choosing not to see. You know, somebody may not want to go, but it's time to go. It is time to go. There's somebody here that is very unhealthy. And they may even have an unhealthy mindset. So this doesn't, I don't know what it is. Somebody has a very unhealthy mindset. They're very troubled. They're in a troubled situation, but they're having a hard time moving. Okay, they're having a hard time moving out of it. Um, five of Pentacles reversed. Now that is... There is light at the end of the tunnel. There is some sort of improvements if you ask for help. Somebody may need to ask for help, but they don't want to ask for help. They may be going through some financial hard times, or they're going through hard times anyway. Somebody's going through some sort of hard times. There could be fear of rejection here. Somebody may have fear of rejection, fear of... Um, you know, somebody may want a reconciliation as well with that temperance card because that can be a reconciliation, you know, but but there's too much fear in the way. There's somebody that is, is blocking. They're blocking their emotions. Um, they are. They're really used, trying to block their emotions. So somebody is trying to block their emotions and they're struggling to, to do so. It's overwhelming at this point. Somebody is absolutely overwhelmed. Um, but anyway, this five of pentacles is lacking something, um, totally unhealthy. Somebody is it maybe in an unhealthy partnership, an unhealthy relationship, um, and they're overdoing it. They're going, maybe they're self-medicating, you know, there's, there, this is a mental prison. Somebody is in their own little mental prison. They're, they may be self-medicating. They could go overboard. They're, somebody could absolutely positively over-medicate themselves and just saying, they could be going overboard. Um, anyhow, uh, there's some sort of abandonment issues here. Somebody is has has ghosted another person, or has or has abandoned another person, or abandoned. I don't know, maybe their children or their family or something like that, and they may be feeling guilty. Um, hmm. No, we had one flip over. Nine of Wands reversed. Refusing to compromise again. We got somebody here that is that is uh, repeating negative patterns. Both of these cards. They're repeating the same patterns over and over and over again. They're not learning their lesson. They are refusing to learn a lesson. This is somebody who is trapped in their mind and they're hurting themselves. Somebody is overdoing it. They keep repeating over. They're not learning from their mistakes. They keep doing the same things over and over and over again. And I think that they should expect some trouble because they're not, they haven't learned from their ex mistakes because they keep repeating the same patterns. It's going to cause trouble. There's trouble. There's trouble here. Somebody's is, I don't know if they're going to get in trouble or they're going to end up in the hospital. However, it resonates with you. There's poor health here. We have somebody here that is very disagreeable. This person is on a high horse. You know, um, they may like to fight, you know, um, we have somebody here that, I don't know if this is, I mean, the Five of Pentacles in reverse can be uh, a major loss. It can be. Somebody may be experiencing a major loss because they refuse to get help or they refuse to seek help or they refuse to listen to any advice. There's a lot of... Uh, Memories that are causing somebody to react in a negative manner. 
okay? And maybe there's childhood issues here. Maybe it oops, goes all the way back to the past. And there could be drinking problems. Somebody could be drinking themselves too much or doing drugs or alcohol or something like that. Anyhow, that Three of Swords is, is a separation or a loss or grieving or heartache or pain or something like that. Somebody could even be be going to rehab or being sent to rehab or going to jail just being honest somebody could do something uh without thinking and they could end up uh this is somebody that's very cocky they could end up in prison they could end up in jail i'm just being honest with you they're not seeing they're not seeing something clearly they may think that everything is fine everything is not fine everything is not fine um Eight of Swords need to break free from this mentality. Somebody needs to break free. And I think it's some sort of addiction. Whether it's food, alcohol, drugs, sex, whatever it is. Somebody needs to break free from a mentality. Okay? and they're uh, But they're unwilling to. This is somebody that has a very big ego. Seriously, it has a chip on their shoulder. This is somebody also that is that that is going to be experiencing some bad luck because it's like they always want to fight. They always want to fight. So if you always want to fight, well, eventually you're going to lose. But this is a person that repeats the same patterns over and over and over and over again. So perhaps it's time to learn a lesson. Nine of coins. Now, nine of coins is about living, living the good life, having, having very capable, very capable, having plenty. We have a hard worker here that is very capable of success. So we have somebody here that is very capable, can do it, very, very strong, very independent. I wonder. Oh, there's a, a reevaluation is needed. Somebody needs to reevaluate what they want. There's an opportunity to live a very good life, but you're gonna have to open your eyes and break free from something that doesn't uh, bring you harmony, that doesn't bring you peace, that does it, that is in, that brings you, you know, strife. That's an imbalance up there. There's somebody is in a situation where there's no harmony. Okay, they they don't get along with whoever they're with, or you know, there's no peace. It's they think about the past all the time, you know, and there's just a need to accept. There's a need to accept help or a need to be honest. And I feel like we have somebody here that is suffering. They are suffering internally. Okay, they're causing themselves a lot of pain by maybe even over medicating to bury the pain. You know. To pretend that everything is okay, but everything is not okay. But there's a, this is this is an opportunity for success. I mean, the Nine of Pentacles is a hard-working individual who is enjoying life because they're strong, they're independent, they have a lot of perseverance. This is somebody that will do whatever it takes to be successful and is very capable of success. But there's a blockage in the way. There's a blockage. And I think the blockage is the mentality. Somebody's own mentality is blocking them from success. You know, if, you don't, if you're unwilling. And this is unwilling to change. This is too. We have somebody here that is unwilling to change. Therefore, they're experiencing hardship. They are, whether it's financial hardship or hardship with somebody from their family or somebody from their past or... Whatever it is, I mean, somebody's chip on their shoulder is uh, causing themselves pain, and you got to you got to drop it. You need to drop it. You need to drop the desire to fight. You know, just just let it go, and step outside of your comfort zone. Stop say, staying where it's safe, where you've always been. Break free. Break free from this mentality. Go wherever it is that you want to go. You know, if you need help, accept help. You know, ask for help. Open your mouth. Somebody needs to open their mouth. They've been refusing to break free. They've been refusing to uh, 
go in another direction and I feel like they've been refusing to go in another direction is because of fear of rejection or fear of failure you know um, but anyway uh, that three of swords is typically grieving you know scared as well it's like we have somebody is scared they're you know I do feel like there's some sort of independence coming as well. Somebody may need to break free from a codependent situation, you know, and go their own way. You are capable of taking care of yourself. Nobody completes you. Take care of yourself. Find your strength. Find your willpower. Don't You don't have to stay in a situation that is damaging you, that is hurting you, where you're under another person's control. Break free. Go your own way. Pick yourself up. Do your own thing. world card now the world card is a major accomplishment it's the end of a phase it's the end of a cycle so we have a major completion here something is coming to an end we have a painful situation because right next to that is the three of swords so the three of swords is a painful situation it's heartache it's grief it's suffering it's pain it's rejection so it's the end of a painful situation this is the end of a cycle it's where somebody finds their strength to go their own way and leave something behind. Somebody is leaving something behind. That is the meaning of the world card. They are leaving something behind that has hurt them very, very, very badly. Or they may have hurt another person. I don't know, but that three of swords is hurt. They're leaving some pain or some hurt behind moving towards the future. There could also be some public recognition that is coming. This is completing one cycle and beginning a new. There could also be an increase of money that is coming with the Nine of Pentacles. The World card is a major accomplishment, accomplishing something, learning a lesson. Somebody has learned a lesson. They're learning a lesson, but they learned it the hard way. And it may come in the form of a loss. Okay, it could be a major loss with the Five of Pentacles reversed. Somebody's uh, chip on their shoulder, their ego, their pride, you know, their own mentality has caused them to lose somebody that may have been, a, I don't know, if this is relationship, could have been a soulmate connection, could have been a family member, I don't know. Um, because Six of Cups can resemble a soulmate connection. Somebody may have lost a soulmate due to pride, due to ego due to the need desire to fight improve themselves playing it safe somebody played it safe you know probably got themselves involved with somebody that they did not mingle well with they did not mix well with there's probably some regrets here but i do see the end okay the, the world card is the end it's the end of a cycle i don't know if there's some sort of somebody's going to be broken free because that is a card of freedom they could be, be be broken free from something that they have been stuck in they've been trapped in somebody's health could be declining i'm just being honest with you and they could end up in the hospital i'm not sure what the outcome will be but i do see freedom here freedom from a painful situation um So yeah, get prepared to hear of an ending because the world card is a major ending. It is a major one where somebody just says goodbye to that old life. There could be a change of residence in the very near future. There also is somebody that is probably, they may be starting their own business. They may be starting their own venture. You know, going, definitely is going their own way. Okay? Because this is single, independent, doing your own thing. Breaking free from an unhealthy situation that has been very, very... It's been mind-boggling as well. It's been it's been a big headache. 
It has. It's been a big headache. This is the end. It's the end of that big headache. Somebody may be packing up and leaving home if I didn't say that already. Nothing stays the same. This is a big change. It's the end of a phase, right? With that world card. Something something that really impacted your life. And caused a lot of pain. Is over. Being broken free. Somebody's being broken free from something that held them back. They chose to stay, but now they've reached the end. So, good luck. Somebody may be coming and asking for help as well. But somebody has been avoiding challenge. They've been avoiding challenge. They've been staying put. They've been staying in a situation that is safe but combative, you know. But it's over. It's over now because there's, this is the end. It's the end of that cycle. I'm going my own way. I'm capable. Goodbye. So... Somebody may be starting their own business. Anyhow, I think that I have repeated myself enough. And it's interesting because I said repeating the same mistakes over and over and over again. This is done. Done repeating. Good luck. <laughs>